welcome to this update video. I really hope you're doing great and we'll be talking about what is happening across the North Atlantic. As we look at the infrared satellite there we can see all that convection out there. Now that is an association with an area of low pressure and it is also resulting in some pretty gusty winds as well as those very rough seas out there in heavy rain which is impacting the island of Bermuda but it should continue making its way out away from the island and so another system is going to be forming as we head into early next week which is likely to bring impacts to the caribbean and of course i'll be talking more and more about that as we approach the weekend and uh, there could be yet another cool down so many areas right now across the northern caribbean such as jamaica the cayman islands over into parts of central america are experiencing those cooler than average temperatures especially in the nights so there could be yet another cool down as we head into next week with that next frontal system that will be making its way through the Caribbean. But as of right now, when we are taking a look at the region, we're not seeing anything too significant. Yes, there are some patches of clouds around, but nothing crazy. And also, there is some Saharan dust in the basin. So for parts of uh, northern South America, as well as the ABC Islands and the Lesser Antilles, the Saharan dust is moving through and impacting the islands as forecast earlier this week and it will be loitering around for the next couple of days so this is uh, the forecast for this morning at 11 a.m there is sea and all those shades of browns indicating the dust and the darker the brown is the higher the concentration of uh, dust within the air so it may be very hazy right now and you may find that your allergies are uh, being triggered by it so please be mindful of that guys and take the appropriate actions where required. Looking at the rainfall forecast for today from Euro, so the focus is on the Caribbean and a whole lot of rain is not expected as we head through today and things should be on the pretty dry side for much of the Florida Peninsula, the Bahamas, even the Turks and Caicos Islands, the Cayman Islands, Cuba and parts of Central America, maybe even down to the ABC Islands as well but some passing showers will be possible elsewhere across the region and headed down into uh, parts of Costa Rica and even Panama, we're seeing some of those red shadings, so there could be some decent rainfall within the area. And for Northern South America, there may be some periods of heavy rain across Colombia and Venezuela, but things may be a bit on the quieter side for the Guyanas, especially over into Suriname and French Guiana. But again, passing showers possible elsewhere across the Caribbean, the Lesser Antilles, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, Hispaniola, and Jamaica. And I wouldn't be surprised if there are some isolated instances of heavy rainfall, but for many areas, it could be quite overcast with very minimal rainfall activity as we head through today. Looking at the wind forecast, this is for later this morning. Again, that area of low pressure is offshore near Bermuda, so we see some of those darker blue shadings indicating those winds up to 30 knots and gusts are even higher than that. So things pretty windy across the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, and even parts of the Western Caribbean, the Cayman Islands, maybe even for San Andreas and Providencia, but uh, things are a bit more tranquil over in the east as it relates to the winds. And so guys, that is pretty much what is going on right now across the region. And as I said, as uh, it relates to that next frontal system, I'll be talking more about it as we head into the next couple of days. But that is it for right now. And I hope you found this video to be quite informative. However, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I'll respond when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weatherwise.